Hello and welcome to an example video from the, the alternating current. So hopefully you've watched the lectures and understand what an alternating current is and how we describe it. Calculate the mean square values and also find the power. All right. So we need to make sure you got that out of the way first before we can tackle this example. So this is a pretty standard one. There is an alternating current supply connected in series with a resistor R. So this is our resistor R and this is our AC supply. Okay, the variation with time t measured in seconds of the current I measured in amps is given by this equation. Okay, so you should be able to recall the general equation of alternating current. So this one is ampere A. Okay, for the current in resistor R, determine the frequency. So for this part, we need to think about what the general equation is. The general equation for alternating current I will be equal to I naught sine omega t. So by comparison, right, we can see that omega is the uh, coefficient or the multiple in front of t, meaning this 3a t will be your omega. So we will write omega is equal to 3a t. And you don't have to worry because t is in second. T is in second. So omega will be in second negative one, which is already hertz. Right? So omega here is 2 pi f. 2 pi f will be 380. And we can press our calculator and find that f is 60.4 hertz. Okay? Lo? Done. Easy two marks. So the first mark is when you identify omega as 380. And the second mark is the final answer. Lah. Pretty straightforward. Root mean square current. So either you understand, or I guess you could memorize that to find the root mean square, we will take the peak divided by root 2. I devoted 30 minutes of my life explaining that. So you go and watch it. Okay, so I'll take the peak current. In this case, if we stare at the equation, I not i naught is equal to 9.9. .9. All right. So I'll put 9.9 .9 divided by root 2. And this will give me the answer of 7.0. Always write your answer in 2SF. Exclamation point, exclamation point. All right. So final answer is one mark, obviously. And then if we see 9.9 .9 .9 divided by root 2 or i naught over root 2 is one mark. All right. And finally, for part B, to prevent overheating, the mean power or average power dissipated in the resistor R must not exceed 400 Watt. Calculate the minimum resistance of R. So for this question, right, since we are talking about mean power, we could say, oh, mean power, we will take the root mean square values. So since I have current, I will take I R M S root mean square current square because power is I square R multiplied by R. So I'm using the equation P is equal to I square R. So the mean square current would be 7.0 square. We are looking for this resistance and the maximum average power is 400. Okay, so now you can find R lo. and R will be 8.16 ohm. You can write into 2SF or 3SF. So this 7.00, generally, I would say at least 2 SF. The general convention is 2 to 3 SF for final answers. Okay, so to get the 2 mark, value of R is 1 mark. Okay, and finally, using writing this substitution is 1 mark. Okay, so pretty straightforward question and it's very short. So these are the bonuses in your paper for which there are not many. The important skill here is to be able to identify that I is equal to I naught sine omega t and compare this with the general equation. All right. So now let's look at a second example where instead of giving you an equation, they gave you a graph. Okay. This is a second example uh, from the same year, a different sitting. This is winter 11 paper 41. So as you can see behind me, there's a big graph, big graph. Okay. So this is the variation of with time t of the output of an alternating voltage supply of frequency 50 hertz. So this is my F. 
Okay, frequent 50 hertz is a very common frequency for most alternating currents. Okay, so T1. State T1. Hmm. So if we look at T1, here to here is one cycle. No. This thing come down. I don't know about you, but I find this kind of oscillating thing very therapeutic. Anyway, this is one cycle. And T1 is one and a half cycle. Okay? So from here, T1 is actually 1.5 T. So I'm going to put down here. T1 is 1.5 T. Okay? But do we know T? Well, we can find T from frequency because T is 1 over F. So this will be 1.5 times 1 over 50 because frequency is 50 hertz. All right? And that will give you the value of T1. T1 here would be 0 0.03. I prefer to write in 2SF because just to be safe. All right? CIE is not very consistent with this, but in the recent years, they are. So this is an old question, and old questions are easier. So later in the second uh, example video, you will see more recent and harder questions. But we know the old one to be able to answer a new one, you see. Peak voltage V0. Oh, wow. Just read like that. Uh. Yes, so nice. This is 17. Okay, two boxes above 15. Uh, five boxes to 20. So 17. I'll put 17.0 because I can read to half a boxer but you can leave it at 17 as well root mean square v easy v naught over root 2 so v naught this o here is k n o n k n o t naught is 17 divided by root 2 which will give us 12.0 okay once again 2 to 3 sf Mean voltage, ah, so if you actually understand the mean voltage, it's like zero, ah, because the average cycle will, in one cycle, these two will cancel out because they are perfectly symmetrical. You have positive 17 here, you have negative 17 down here, okay? You have positive 10 here, don't worry, there's a negative 10 here waiting for you to cancel out, okay? You have a positive 5 here. Don't worry, there's a negative 5 here waiting for you to cancel out. So all of these points will cancel out nicely. That's why the average is 0. Average means you total all the values on the yellow curve and divide by the time. But when you total it, you get 0 already. Okay. Next. Alternating supply is connected in series with a resistor. Okay, okay. This is a lot like the previous example, the first example. So we'll connect the AC with a resistor R. And this resistance is 2.4 ohm. Calculate the mean power. Well, since we have RMS voltage, we are going to use the equation P is V square over R. So I will use the equation of P is equal to, because we want the mean power, mean, I will take the RMS square divided by R. So what is my RMS? My RMS is 12. Okay, calculated here already, 12. So 12 square over 2.4. And that will give me the answer of 60 watt. An alternative that you can do is to use the peak value. Or average will be equal to half. You can take V0 square over R. Because uh, average value here would be half maximum value. So you can read V0 what? This is 17, remember? Square divided by 2.4. Nah, peak is 17. So if you press your calculator, this will also give you 60 what? So either half of the maximum or you just take the average. Because if you understand the derivation, they are actually the same thing. All right, that's it for this um, short and sweet example video. Please go try alternating current. It's a short chapter. Uh, sometimes they ask it together with other topics, and uh, sometimes they will ask it together with other subtopics. But these are a few questions that you can do just based on the first video series or 24.1. Okay, uh, if you find this video helpful, again, like, subscribe, join us. Uh, 
comment down below. Let me know what you think. Ask me questions. I will see you in the next video. Take care and good luck with your studies. Bye-bye.